Well, if President Obama does take the advice of former President Clinton and invokes the 14th Amendment to unilaterally raise the debt ceiling, how would House Republicans respond? Here to discuss is Congressman Connie Mack. Uh, Congressman Mack, the nuclear option is what I'm calling it. It's not unrealistic. We've already heard Bill Clinton say that he would throw it out there. So let's say you guys are made irrelevant and President Obama says, I'm going with the 14th Amendment. What would your response be? Well, first of all, let's, uh, let's put this all into uh, context. So the uh, former president suggests using the 14th Amendment. Uh, president Obama talks about that he won't guarantee that seniors uh, or the people in the military get, get their pay. Uh, you know, this is just part of the same old thing that we're seeing from the president, that we're seeing from the Democrats. They have no plan on how to cut spending, how to balance the budget, how to get our fiscal house in order. And the members of the Republican conference, we should not go on record today voting to raise the debt ceiling by $2.4 trillion when, the pers when there's nobody sitting across the table from us willing to negotiate. I think this is a mistake today. I think that we ought to say to the president, when you're serious about tackling the issues before us, when you're serious about cutting spending, we are here ready to engage with you. But so far, he has not put one idea one plan forward to how to solve this debt crisis. Well, Congressman, you're absolutely right about the Democrats perhaps not having any plan. On the other hand, it feels like the Republicans have too many plans. Almost every day, the GOP comes out with another plan, perhaps being sucked into this game you're describing. Let's talk about some of these plans. Um, cut cap and balance. How did, how did you vote on, uh, on that and why? Well, we haven't had the vote yet. It'll be later today. Uh, and I like the idea of cut, cap, and balance. We need to cut spending now. We need to cap spending in the future. We need to balance our budget with a, a constitutional amendment. The problem is, is we're also including $2.4 trillion increase in the debt ceiling. This is a game. We know it's not going anywhere. It doesn't strengthen the position of uh, Republicans at the White House. And I think we ought to stop this. The American people want us to shoot straight with them. They can take it. They can understand it. And we need to say to them that we, we have a debt and deficit problem that we need to get serious about. And the president needs to come to the Congress and tell us how he's going to solve the problem that he is largely responsible for creating. Well, you know, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Uh, the Gang of Six is back in play right now. Uh, some of the details are sketchy. From what I've heard, it sounds almost too good to be true. Do you have an opinion on that or are you still sifting through it? You know, I'm like, uh, we're still looking through it. We haven't gotten all the details. Uh, it's always important when you look at these plans, what they put out in a summary uh, can be a lot different than what you see in the actual details. So I need to wait and see what's in the detail. But let me get back to this vote today. Um, again, I support cut, cap, and balance. I signed the pledge. Uh, I have a bill that does something similar to it. But for us to go to the table and negotiate with someone who is not sitting there so the president, the Democrats, aren't even at the table, uh, I think is a mistake, and I think it sends the wrong message. The American people want us to shoot straight with them. They want us to be truthful and honest about what we're doing. And right now, uh, until the president gets serious about coming to the Congress and putting forward what his plan is for solving this problem, I think we ought to wait him out. Well, we've got two weeks to go, so we'll see how it goes. Thank you very much, Congressman Connie Mack. We really appreciate your time this afternoon. Thank you, Charles.